Welcome, everybody. Glad you can join us today. Level M Diecast, bringing you Diecast Hall episode number 21. And I think, I think it's safe to say that there might be some light at the end of the tunnel at retail because we do have some new 2023 stuff. Kicking it off right in the back there, that is the newest action drivers. That is the super clean car wash. And yes. It is lights and sounds. It makes a couple of different ones. Thank you for choosing Matchbox Super Clean Car Wash. Customer number seven, your car is ready. That's pretty cool. Number one in the city. We put extra care in every wash. Very nice. Welcome to Matchbox Super Clean Car Wash. All cars are hand dried for long lasting shine. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I am. I'm gonna build that um, as soon as I get around to it. I still have uh, the airport and some stuff from last year. I haven't got to, but super happy about this. Uh, did pick this up at Target. This retailed for 24 bucks. So pretty good steal. It's a medium sized uh, action driver. So looks kind of cool. It does have the car wash in the back. Looks pretty nice. Little corner here. Little street light on the corner. And then little little like kiosks to the thing here. And there's some vacuums there. So that one looks pretty cool. But I got more 2023 stuff. Now, we are not going to crack these open, but I am going to do a video for these. I did pick up uh, 2023 uh, AKs, real working rigs. So these are two brands, spanking new decos. That is National Parks, which is very, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, we have not seen National Parks in the real working rig line. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, that is a, another recolor for the Garbage King and then, of course, we do have two reissues with the uh, Street Sweeper and then, of course, the Western Star Wrecker. Those are reissues. Of course, this one is for Chuck, former Matchbox Ambassador. Always nice to get another one for Chuck. So pretty good. We'll uh, definitely going to do those in a video. We'll do those ones up separately. So we'll kind of throw those guys a little bit to the side, make a little bit of space here. Um, I got more 2023 stuff. Again, we're not going to crack this because I'm going to do separate videos, but I just want to let you guys know that there is light at the end of the tunnel coming. We do have the 2023 A case of moving parts, which is not good. This is not good. And you're going to say, well, why is that not good, Level M? We're, we're happy that we're getting new product. Here's the problem. I just dropped the Mix 7 video uh, just the other day, I think yesterday, and... Um, there's still one more mix for 2022. That mix is mix eight. That mix is the one that has the Golf, um, the Mark IV Golf, I think it is, the four-door with the hatchback. Um, and there's a few other models in there. Um, but we don't have that mix yet. That mix is out, uh, just not in the U.S. So hopefully it's not like the A case of moving parts where you're really going to have to get it from outside the country. So that's that's why I'm a little worried about this. Uh, brand new casting, 69 Ford Mustang Boss 402. Brand new casting, Bentley Continental GT. Those are both two per case. Um, also, brand new casting. This is the Tesla Model S. I'm sorry, just the Tesla Roadster, not the Model S. Uh, that one is also two per case. And then you have two that are only one per case. This guy right here, which is the Range Rover Evoque. This was, or Evoke, I apologize. Uh, this was a new casting in the A case of 2022. It is now in the first case of 2023. Um... Obviously, this came from Pake Vines. Um, these also came from Target, moving parts from Target. So if you guys are curious on where the moving parts are coming from, check your targets. And then, of course, the 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet in those D10s. Very, very nice to get them in the D10s. Uh, been in the five spokes for its first two releases. So now we can do a red, white, and blue M4. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to be doing a separate video for those. And I got something super cool. Uh, this won't is this won't be available until I do a batch review of 2023 batch B. This is Target Red Edition. This is the Red Editions for Target this year uh, from Matchbox. This is the very first one, 1969 Chevy Camaro. This is the B case. So Target's getting the B case, um, which is weird, um, very very weird. Uh, but you'll see this is numbered one of six. So my assumption is, is that depending on how many mixes they have this year, 
Um, there's probably going to be one in each of the subsequent mix, mixes from B case, B case on. Uh, last year, we got six mixes. I think this year we're slated to get eight, potentially, um, because we have some carryovers and stuff. So I think we're getting eight mixes. Um, so there's probably going to be one in every mix from a Target until uh, the last mix of the year, I would think. There's the back of the card. So uh, unfortunately, until we get to the B case uh, batch review, this one won't be cracked. Um, but it is going to be there and ready to do it. I just want to show this off. Very, very cool. Very, very cool to see a Matchbox card in red. Uh, just a very, very interesting, interesting thing. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave that guy out there. We, we can look at him. It's no big deal. More light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. 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 There are some, some new majorettes showing up at Target. Uh, these are the ones that I was lucky enough to get from a buddy. I did not pull these from the pegs, but these are hitting target. As a matter of fact, the only thing I pulled from the pegs pretty much in any of this stuff is the car wash in the back. Uh, it pays to have trade friends, just saying. Uh, so this one, we are going to crack open Lamborghini Scion FP, uh, FKP 37. This is the second color uh, that we have here at level M. There are three colors, I believe, for this model in total. The debut one was in green. The typical cyan green. And then um, it's also now in this orange. And then there's a blue one as well. Kind of a metallic kind of blue. It's a very nice blue, actually. Comes with a, you know, a faux box. It's just, it's just in there for whatever. There's nothing fancy about it. But it is uh, decorated up like an old school majorette box. This is the cyan. This is definitely... Not a great casting from Major Ed just because it looks like a giant off-roader. Um, this does have real riders on there. Those are rubber tires. There are uh, two moving features to this. It does have opening doors and then an opening hatch here in the back, which is metal. There's not a whole lot of depth in there, but it's very, very nice to have two moving features, which is a pretty cool feature. I think the orange is great. Uh, there is prints all over this, which look pretty good. Get that up in there. Tail light prints are done up. Looks pretty decent. The casting is fine. It's just the way it sits and how high it sits up. So Dickie Spielzug uh, is the parent company, obviously. Throw that guy down there. does have suspension. It's very, very small, but there is suspension in there. Now, uh, before I crack this guy open, just, just so you guys know, the stuff we get in the U.S. will have this sticker on there, this hazard sticker that's a government requirement. And then on the back, we do have a sticker right here. That talks about Jada because Dicky Toys does own Jada. They do. They did buy them. Um, one of the reasons they bought, a very large reason they bought them was to get other Dicky products into the U.S. It wasn't just Majorette, um, but you know that's the one that we're kind of going with on the channel. It it's a part of it. It's a huge part of it. This is very interesting. This is the brand new RWRC series. Uh, this is not the first four. This is the new four with new liveries on it. This is the um, i30 in. Uh, this one looks pretty good. So we're going to just go ahead and crack the scope. And you guys, uh, you know, may have remembered or maybe not uh, the very first uh, in car they did in the rally series um, had two different color wheels, one red and one gray. So get those out of the way. This guy doesn't have any moving features or anything like that, but it's super, super detailed. It does have roll cage and everything in there. Rubber tires, suspension, prints look fantastic. WRC 11, it says on the side, Hyundai Mobis. That is a metal spoiler on the back. That spoiler is metal, the wing, however you want to call it. Very, very nice prints all over this. Looks fantastic. Prints all along the top. Of course, headlights are lensed just like you'd expect. Just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This looks so good. Of course, there is a windshield banner on there as well. Really, really like that. Very, very nice. Very exciting to get some uh, Majorette stuff. Um, and I will tell you guys, there is more Majorette stuff coming to the U.S. Um, as soon as I find it, I will bring it to you and we'll go from there. Uh, one very, very cool. If you've watched my uh, Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I did trade for this uh, locally. Um just happened to pop up in a local collector's story. He was just like, hey, I forgot I had an extra one of these. And, 
you know, didn't realize they're sort of kind of valuable. And I just reached out as soon as I could and said, hey, would you be willing to trade that? And uh, so we made a trade. We made a trade. I traded some mini GT for this guy. So, you know, one love for one love. So very, very happy to have this one. This one is ridiculously rare to find. Um, it's kind of funny because we actually did the trade for this in front of the target that he actually found this at at one point in time. Um, I never, ever saw this mix. You guys know that I did crack open some from the uh, this one and the Mustang I've already cracked open. The Golf and the Jeep are carryovers, so now I just need the Nova, So, which I could have got at the gathering, but unfortunately I didn't because I was dumb. So this is our National Parks FJ, and yes, of course, we're going to open this. Why would we not? This one is different than the one in the 5-pack. The 5-pack one has the uh, solid um, chrome wheels. Or not solid chrome, but you know, all chromed up. And then, of course, the um, roof is not painted white. So just a little bit different. But that one looks fantastic. Super, super happy. Very, very difficult one to get for sure. Um, this one looks really, really good, though. Very happy with that one. All the way from R02. That's from the beginning of 2022. That's like a whole year ago. All right, we got a couple of kind of stragglers here uh, before we get to some better stuff. Uh, picked up a couple of blue cards. Uh, just, just from the Crackle series. This is a ca casting, a casting I collect. Turboa. There's a bunch of different variations on how they did the Crackle on here. This is just one I didn't have. So pull this guy out. Does have the... Uh, you know, uh, hot, Ultra Hots on there. Sorry, couldn't think of the name of the wheel. So there's the Ultra Hots on there. So nothing fancy. It's just a fantasy casting most people won't like. Another fantasy casting here, another blue card, the GM Lee machine. Um, the interesting thing about this one, this one is the seven spoke. You see that seven spoke wheel in the back. Definitely uh, a lot rarer. Um, variation, but it's not, it's not like rare or anything. So there's the seven spoke, which is pretty cool. So didn't have the seven spoke. So happy to add that one. Very weird casting, just a weird thing, but kind of like the fantasy stuff sometimes. All right. We got pre mo premium. As a matter of fact, what we're going to do is just going to lay down these moving parts because I'm going to need some space here. So we're just going to. Get those guys to the side. We'll leave our red edition up just so people can see it on the uh, little thumbnail. We'll throw some stuff in the back. Maybe over to the side. Make some space. Because I do have quite a bit of stuff. Now, of course, if you guys are ever curious, of course, of course, surplus goodies. I can't recommend them enough. Um, you know, you want green light. You want tarmac. You want mini GT. Inno. Um, they do some other stuff as well. Um, they do hot wheels. There is some hot wheels on there, but, uh, always good buying from them. Very, very happy with them. Let's see if we can just get this one to rip open without cutting it. Let's just cut it. It's just easier to cut it. So we'll just cut this open. There we go. Got three models in this bag. Woo wee. All right, keeping up with the Chasers, uh, this one is fantastic. This one is the uh, Japan Police. That looks super cool. does have like a microphone on the top uh, in addition to the light. That is super, super cool. Chrome five-spoke wheels on there. Of course, it is the Veritex version still. Nice print on the back that looks super, super cool. Black and white, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Love the Chaser. I love the Chaser. It's one of my favorite cars of all time. Easily. All right. New Mini GT. There will be quite a bit in here. This is the 911 GT3 Touring. Very next color. This is the second release in Genesian Blue Metallic with those bronze wheels and bronze striping on the side. Number 405. So very, very exciting. Very, very happy to get that one. We're going to crack those guys open. We'll do a separate video on those. Uh, one more Tarmac. This is the Zonda Sneak or Sink, Chink, Chink, Shinik, something like that. Uh, this is the, like, I think third color for this particular casting. I think uh, we've had green. There was a teal one back in the day, I think, was the original. Um, there's also a yellow one, I think, and then, of course, this orange one. 
Um, I'm, I'm pretty far behind on um, these Global 64 releases, unfortunately. So I am working on catching up with them. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a expensive endeavor. Of course, all premium diecast is expensive. Yes, we got another bag here. Just trying to figure out the best way to open these without uh, damaging the contents. There we go. Is this the weirdest bag ever? There we go. All right. I know you guys are probably like, what are you doing? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get these out. All right. Brand spanking new version for the Bentley Continental GT Speed. Uh, essentially in a kind of a carbon fiber black color. That one looks probably pretty good. We'll have to see when we crack them open. Uh, number 442. So another nice uh, Mini GT edition. Very, very nice to finally get this one. This is the McLaren Artura. A brand spanking new casting from Mini GT in Volcano Blue, number 430. So very exciting to get that one cracked open for sure. Uh, we'll put that one right there. That's fine. Um, another one seems to be a bit of a blue mix, I guess you can say. Uh, rough CTR anniversary in dark blue. Next, uh, you know, next color in the line. Nothing fancy other than that. Uh, number 451 is the number on this guy. So we'll kind of throw him ish there um now you guys have already seen me pull this this is the bugatti chiron super sport and white this is actually one of the models i traded for the land cruiser so i had to replace the one um i traded uh more than one mini gt for that which was definitely a fair trade and definitely required it since that thing typically goes for about 50 bucks um unless you get it from the u.s and it goes for a little bit more because then people don't have to pay to get it shipped from Indonesia, like you're gonna have to do on the last mix of that that retro series, because that is where it's at. All right, really struggling with these bags today. Really struggling. There we go. All right, this is the biggest bag of them all. Get them to buy a whole one one model, a whole entirely one model. All right, brand spanking new casting. Again, this is the Nissan Z. Proto spec yellow. Looks weird from the side. I will tell you that right now. The, the box art looks weird, which is a picture of the actual model itself they put on the box. It doesn't look good right now. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't look good. But when we crack it open, we'll find out if it's good or not. This one, number 415. I thought we had 415 already. Oh, four. 451. It's my dyslexia. All right. Another one up in the mix. This one right here is the 911 Target 4S Heritage Design Edition in Cherry Red. Very, very, very nice. This one is selling quite quickly, I will admit. Number 461. So super happy about that one. Another uh, yellow one. This is the Chevy Corvette Z06. Um, I believe this is a new casting. I don't think this is the same. See, actually, this is not. This is a brand new casting for sure in Accelerate Yellow. This is number 441. So that one's going to be a pretty exciting addition as well. And then this guy, which was actually delayed significantly. And I mean significantly. So 441, 461, 415. This guy is number 193. This is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. Uh, Bologna Airport 2020 follow me car. Um, so the problem with this one is that there's a light bar attached to the top, just like you see on here. And Mini GT was not happy with how it was placed on there. It wasn't, um, didn't look good. Some of them were coming off and things like that. So they, they just pulled the whole production run. Now there are some that got out. Um, they did not pull all of them. Unfortunately, there are some that got out. But they brought it back to fix it because you know why? That is what you call quality. And maybe they should call up Greenlight and say, hey, this is how you do quality. This is how you do quality. But anyways, there we go. So we have a ton of stuff coming to the channel. Um, a lot of unboxings going on. We got, you know, first mix, 2023 moving parts. 
Um, this is going to be a while, I will admit, because that's batch B. It's the second batch of the year, and I'm still trying to complete the first batch because I don't have the I don't have the chase. Um, so I'm still trying to get that 33 Ford chase. So if I get that one, I'll be set. But other than that, there is some light at the end of the tunnel for retail, although I think it's very temporary. But uh, Target's where it's at. Target's the worst store on the planet, but somehow they tend to somehow find something new. Maybe that's why they've been the worst store ever. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level in that cast. Peace.